Hey guys, how's it going today? This is Roshan of Goopley, and uh, today I decided that I would share some of the news over some of the gameplay that I recorded from last night. Uh, this is actually my wife playing some Undead Nightmare, and uh, we actually played for a little while, so I decided to just uh, just play this video at least uh, for the length of the conversation or the discussion that I'm wanting to have today. If you like the Undead Nightmare gameplay, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will try to record more for you guys uh, for future news. Alright guys, so uh, big news from this week. On Wednesday, Google announced the Nexus 7, the new Nexus 7. Uh, among other things and um, the Nexus 7 the new Nexus 7 man I gotta be careful not to confuse one for the other because now we have the new Nexus 7 which is meant to be the successor to the previous just Nexus 7 so um, anyway what are the improvements to the new Nexus 7 as opposed to the previous one uh, well let me see some of the technical specifications here so we still have that 7 inch display, uh, but this time we have a 1920 times 1200 high definition display that comes out to a, a pixel per inch count of 323, so uh, really high up there. Uh, it is an IPS display. Um, it is going to be able to play native. It is going to be able to play native 1080p uh, video. The front facing camera is the 1.2 megapixels and the rear facing camera is 5 megapixels and is also capable of 1080p video recording. The battery is supposed to go up to 9 hours of active use and it is actually a 3950 milliamps uh, battery that's in it. Um, this is something new that was neat uh, from watching it live that I found out. The Nexus 7 is going to feature stereo speakers, which means when you use the tablet in landscape mode, you can expect to get some uh, stereo sound. And also, there's going to be a little bit of surround sound or virtual surround sound also. So um, the quality of it is, you know, uh, we won't know that until we get to actually see the unit. But that seems to be a really uh, serious step that they've taken towards enhancing the audio of the tablet. So that's pretty neat. In terms of the processor, it's going to have a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro 1.5 GHz CPU. And for the GPU, it's going to have an Andreno 320 at 400 MHz. Uh, it will continue to have the same wireless ABGN support uh, and also support for NFC and Bluetooth 4.0. There are three models of the Nexus 7 that are coming out. There's a 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi model, a 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi model, and then a 32 gigabyte uh, model with Wi-Fi as well as 4G LTE. Those are some of the main highlights of the new Nexus 7. Um, let's see here. It will have two gigs of RAM and all the same sensors as before, the GPS, gyroscope, accelerometer, compass, ambient light. Um, yeah, so those are just some of the specs regarding the new Nexus 7. So all in all, a decent upgrade over the old Nexus 7, uh, although it is coming at a $30 extra at the very least. Um, but nonetheless, uh, for people who haven't gotten the chance to pick up a Nexus 7, this might be a great tablet to go for. Um, as to whether it's a decent up or necessary upgrade over the old one, um, that's hard to tell. Uh, it depends on what you do, I guess. Uh, the processor does allow for 80% more uh, processing power, uh, as well as a good amount more of graphical power. So if you're a gamer, uh, or you use programs that require intense power to run on your Nexus 7, uh, sure, the new Nexus 7 may be worth the upgrade. Um, if you're a pretty light user, all you use it for are reading, listen to music, stuff like that, light surfing, you're probably not gonna, uh, you know, need to get the brand new one. Another new piece of news from today's Google conference is Google unveiled the new piece of hardware called the Chromecast. And uh, basically, what the Chromecast is, if you haven't heard of it or read about it yet, is it is meant to be a cheap alternative to Apple TV. And I don't mean cheap in a bad way, I mean cheap as in an actual affordable rival to the Apple TV. So what the Chromecast actually does is helps, it lets you 
basically stream your video content as well as media like pictures and music from your Android or iOS devices onto your televisions that you have at home or uh, perhaps even your speakers that you have at home but primarily your television um, the great thing about the Chromecast is one it is not a set box set top box like the Apple TV is it's actually um, just the size of a USB stick in fact when they first unveiled it I thought it was a USB stick um, but it actually is the size of a USB stick but has a male HDMI port on one corner of it and you just plug it in to your HDTV and guess what it acts as a receiver for your um, stuff that you want to stream from your YouTube app on your smartphone or tablet as well as uh, some images from your devices as well uh, even if you're surfing on the internet I think the biggest attraction of the Chromecast uh, that will I think allow it to be very popular uh, right out the gate is the price um, the Apple TV which it seems to rival it stands at nine uh, at 99 bucks the Chromecast is just gonna be 35 bucks that's it so I think that could really uh, and the, I think that price is gonna really help with the mass appeal of the Chromecast and uh, I hope to get my hands on one soon so I can uh, test it out and show you guys what it's like to use it. I am someone that uses the Apple TV and for the most part it works well. But man, if Chromecast could do pretty much uh, a good amount of the stuff for 35 bucks, I say that's a steal. One more highlight from the Google conference is that, or the Google keynote was that um, Google has announced 4.3, the next iteration of Jelly Bean, their Android software, and that is supposed to be rolling out to Nexus devices now, and also uh, will be rolling out to the Google edition of um, of the smartphones um, pretty soon. So really neat, 4.3 is out. Uh, I haven't really read much on the features and how much it improves. There are a few great features coming to it so those are some of the main things from today's conference at least what I got from it uh, what are you guys thoughts uh, if uh, you're a Google fan tell me what you're excited about if you're not really a fan of what uh, went down today in the conference share why not um, here are my thoughts and I'd love to hear yours as well thank you guys for watching and until next time just please comment subscribe and like uh, this video and I will catch you guys later what's happened now, don't be like that. I haven't done anything or stolen anything or even lied that much.